Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I am so excited for this video. It is 7 o'clock on a Friday night. I should be curled up on my couch, PJs on, gossip girl rolling hard. But instead, I got a very late drop off of my about face order. So we're going to be doing live swatches tonight. I placed a pre-order when they were doing the pre-orders. Look at this box. And I got a ton of stuff. I did not get everything, you guys, because, oh my god, this was, this is like $200 worth of product. Way too much, but I was really excited, and there were so many things I want, so all of my monthly spending went into <laughs> this box here. And now I'll be on a no-buy until I die. So, I got some liquid lipsticks, I got some liquid eyeshadows, and I think I got a free shadow stick, which is cool. So, yeah, let's look at the packaging real quick. Oh my god, I can't even read this. What is this? It looks like astronaut food. <laughs> This is the matte lip color. This here is the shadow stick. Yes, the longer one is the shadow stick. And then we have the matte fluid eye paint, which I am really excited for, especially after just trying the um, Rare Beauty ones. Not that I think they're comparable, but I'm just kind of in this liquid shadow mode because I love the Rare Beauty ones so much. So I'm, so I'm really excited to try these and these are more colorful and I got a lot of the bolder colors. So, oh my God, these are so pretty. Okay, are you guys ready? First, I want to show you the lip colors. I got four different lip colors here. I got Ask Nicely, Nudist Judas, So Long Summer, and Take Aim. Obviously, right away, the packaging is just stunning. It's striking. It looks so modern. It looks so hip. In this moment, I'm like, I can't believe I thought KKW packaging was ever cool. There was at one point that I thought it was really cool. And then you see something like this and you're like, no, this is cool. This is cool. Uh, so we're gonna get into those, of course. And then I also wanna show you the eye paints. These are so satisfying. I got five of the eye paints here. I mean, look at these colors. I hope they're really true to the packaging, but I don't know that they will be. For the eye paints, I got Lost Unfound, Smell Before Rain, Dionysus, and smoke signal. Now because we don't know how these stain and whatnot, I want to go lightest to deepest in case they do super stain. Uh, this dark blue is what I'm worried about, <laughs> so we're gonna save that for the end. I'm gonna first start with the lip colors and then we'll roll into the eye colors. One more thing, this is the shadow stick I got. I got the shade Pearly. This was a gift with purchase if you bought a certain amount, I think. Um, so yeah, that's what I got. All right, and oh, let me zoom you beautiful bitches in. Hold on. The very first lip shade is Ask Nicely. This looks very, very light. This might be a regret. We'll see. Nice doe foot. Ooh, very pigmented right off the bat. A bit of an awkward shade on me without lip liner. In my opinion, it always, it kind of just makes me feel a little bleh. I love the color, but I would need a lip liner to really wear it. I don't think that I would wear it just like this. Maybe I would. I don't know. It's cute. I want to say it's dry instantly. It's extremely dry. It feels comfortable. It doesn't feel dry, but it dried quick. Do you know what I mean? I feel like the ColourPop ones take a little bit longer to dry, and this one was like super dry. I want to do one more layer and see if that does anything. God, it dries so quick. I don't think I've ever tried a lip paint that dried so quickly. It's extremely opaque, as you can see. I like it. I like it. It's actually growing on me, but no, I would still need a lip liner or else I think I look a little goofy. But yeah, that is the shade Ask nicely. The next shade is Nudist Judas. I was so excited when I saw this color. I thought it looked unique and different and it's just, it looks cool. Okay, I freaking love this color and I don't think everybody will, but I love this. It's unique. It's different. We do not see lip colors like this like literally ever. And yes, it's kind of baby poopy brown, but you know I'm into dingy, weird, and ugly shit. And this is so, it's one of those colors that's kind of so ugly that it's actually really freaking beautiful. You know my viewers, I know a lot of you will not be excited about this lip color, but I really am. I really wanted do a look with this this week like a super awesome dark brown smoky eye in this lip color I think would be really really cool I love it though that is nudist Judas the next shade is long summer I'm so excited about this one I'm really liking the lip colors they're definitely on the drier side if you're not a big fan of drier liquid lipsticks you know, I could see some people not liking that as much, specifically if you don't like dry lips. They are dry, they are. But the colors are beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my God, this one is so beautiful. It's not super unique, but it, it's gorgeous. I actually thought it was gonna be lighter. So don't go buy um, bottle color, because as you can see, this is a big, big difference. I didn't expect it to be the stark. I like it, but I almost wish it was a little truer to the uh, color of the cap. I understand why it's not, you know, but that's just me being nitpicky. But yeah, that is the shade So Long Summer. 
And the very last shade is Take Aim. Ah, oh, that's so beautiful. I love this color. I did kind of a crappy application. I'm not good at dark lips without lip liners. I need like the pencil to create the shape. It's gorgeous though. I can't say I don't have anything exactly like it. I'm sure that I do. God, it dries fast. It dries really, really, really fast, you guys. I do wish it was a little bit closer to the cap color. That's what I was really hoping for, but it is what it is. That is Take Aim. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the eye paints, but first I want to try this shadow stick. So this is, like I said, the shade uh, Pearly. Ooh, and it's a blue. Let's see here. It's very smooth and creamy. It's about what I expected. It's pretty much like any other shadow stick. I do like the color. I don't do many of these light blues. So yeah, definitely something different for me. I don't know how often I'll use it. Maybe I'll use it. I don't know. It's very out of my comfort zone. So <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to try it out. So that is the shade Pearly. Okay, the moment now I'm sure we've all been waiting for. We are going to get into the eye paints. We're going to go lightest to deepest, even though these four down here are kind of about the same. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Not the same color, but like, you know, level and depth and whatever. So let's first start with uh, Smell Before Rain, which is this nude here. I am so excited about these. I hope they're cool. Okay, let's do it. Oh my God, it looks like my, like, ugh. <laughs> Not ew, but like, it looks like my skin. It looks like liquid skin. And I don't know why that's freaking me out because I mean, that's what concealer looks like, right? For some reason, I just had a weird reaction to it. Am I applying too much? This seems to be a lot. Do you not need that much? I'm gonna grab a blending brush. Maybe this is the, yeah, I think you should blend it out probably. Wowza, that was a lot. So I think that they are pretty similar to uh, the Rare Beauty ones. Interesting. Oh, I wish I didn't get this color. It looked cool but it's like basically my skin color. I guess maybe as an eyeshadow base it would be fine. Wow, it like <laughs> blended in exactly. So I'm a little bummed that I got this color, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll find a use for it somehow. Interesting though, as far as texture goes, it's creamy and then it dries down pretty quickly. It feels comfortable. I think it feels a slight bit thicker than the Rare Beauty ones, but not by much, uh, just to kind of gauge that. Uh, so yeah, that is the shade Smell Before Rain. The next shade is Dionysus. I think, I don't know this word. It sucks when there's like a moment with just like simply makeup that makes you realize like, oh, I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> oh my God, this looks so beautiful. Yes, 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 I wanted this. Let's see. They're much more liquidy than I expected, as dumb as that might sound. I thought they might be a little more creamy, but look at that shine. I mean, you can see it's super, super liquidy. So again, I think I just applied too much. <laughs> so I'm going in with a brush now to blend that out. They're blending nicely. That's awesome. Yeah, a little goes a long way, guys. Don't be like Shay. Go a little at a time and build up or else you will have purple all over your eyelid. But that's kind of cool. I'm actually not mad at it. I want to do one more layer because we did blend it out quite a bit. I want to see if we can get it to be a little more opaque. It's funny because they say they're a matte formula, but they have a shine to me. I don't know how long it takes for it to dry down till it's completely matte. It definitely doesn't dry super, super quick. And now it feels dry, but I, but I still feel like I see a, a small shine to it, a small glow. Not that it's metallic or has any reflective properties in it, just the finish itself looks, it doesn't look completely matte to me, but I love the color. I think that's cool. And they do tend to sheer out a little bit. So that is the shade Dionysus. Di Dion Dionysus. I don't know this word. <laughs> the next shade is Cloned. Ooh. So far, I will say the eye colors have been very, very, very close to the bottle colors. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Okay. Oh my god, I love that. Okay, let's blend it out. Cloned has my heart. It is my favorite so far. They really do blend so beautifully. Is 2021, oh my God, I, I put on way too much. I look like an idiot. <laughs> Is 2021 the year of liquid shadows? That's what it's looking like to me. And this one was extremely opaque. I put on way too much. Blending is not really <laughs> helping either. Be very, I mean, it's a look if you want it, you know what I mean? Be very, very gentle with these. Don't overdo it. I don't even know how to clean this up, so I'm not going to. At least this demonstrates the color right? It's serving a purpose. It's gorgeous. I'm sorry I applied this one so badly. I will do better this next time around. That is cloned. Okay, finally, I've been waiting to get into this green, you guys. This one is called Smoke Signal. <gasps> I'm excited. Okay, this time, Shay, don't go overboard. Be gentle. Okay, let's stop there. Let's stop there. I almost did it again. I can't help it. I want to smear it all over my face. Now going in with the blending brush. 
I think the key with these is, even when you think it's not enough, it's enough, okay? Just stop there and you can always add more if you need to, but best to go small at first because it really does blend. I mean, it really carries out. I could keep going. I'm trying not to blow it out of proportion here. Okay, there's first layer. I see a little band through there where it didn't take or that it's just, I don't know. I don't even know. So we're gonna add a small second layer, see if we can cover that up. The good part about these is I feel like there won't be much creasing because it just, it feels so light and thin. I can't imagine it creasing. Wow. You know how much fun you could have with these, especially like if you apply it and then while it's still drying, it's still a little damp, add a pigment, add a little glitter, add something cool in the center, you know, a duochrome. You could have a lot of fun with these for sure. Um, and it's, it's bold. It's pigmented. I love that Halsey chose to not just jump out of the gate with like standard products, like user-friendly products, as weird as that might sound. I feel like a lot of brands tend to launch with things that everybody could wear super easily. You know, more basic makeup for sure, because you know, they want to do well on their first ride. But I like that Halsey chose to be bold and do bold colors and not such wearable makeup right out of the gate. I think it really sets a nice tone uh, going forward. She's there for the everyday person, the everyday makeup lover, as well as, you know, the art artists and the creatives and people who want to play. So I really like that about this. Yeah, that's beautiful though. That is the shade Smoke Signal. And the very last shade is Lost Unfound. I'm going to do it on this eye because I like to take my thumbnails with, you know, two eye colors. Oh my god, I'm so scared about this one because it looks so freaking dark. <laughs> Scared. I could really F this up. Okay, Shay, let's go in small. Let's stop there because that is dark and I am terrified. I saw in a lot of their ad photos, they had like really structured makeup. I don't know how they did it so perfectly because this is, <laughs> this is a little tricky. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm so scared to be blending this one right now. I'm going to do a look with these this week or I might just, just for the Instagram, I think I'm going to play around and take a few shots. Okay. Yeah. See, that's like, it's so much, you guys. Barely use a drop. I'm telling you. This is crazy. <laughs> I don't quite know how to blend this without looking insane. Wow, okay. This one's interesting, as you can see, it's a little splotchy in the center. I don't know if maybe I took too long to blend it out. Well, let me just add a little bit more. This is crazy though. Problem is, is, I don't know if I'm just really bad at applying these, so I don't wanna say anything bad about it because it's insane, it's gorgeous. It's like ink, it is so pigmented, but it's a little tricky for me to, but God, it looks so good. That looks amazing. I don't think it's supposed to be perfect. I don't know. This is so new to me is so different. I actually love how that looks. I just wish it wasn't so messy and that's my fault. If you're gonna use these, I would wait for foundation till you're done your look because you might have some cleaning up to do, definitely. The color in these is unbelievable. Really unbelievable. I think they're gonna take a little bit of practice to get used to using, or maybe not. Maybe you're better than me. You probably are. So who freaking knows? But that is the shade Lost Unfound. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. <laughs> That is it for this video. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. This was definitely really, really fun to film. I'm a little scared of these. I'm not gonna lie to you. I need to get my confidence up with them. I need to get more familiar with them. The blue still looks a little off to me, but I don't know if it's my fault. I specifically wanna use that blue again this week to see if I can try and fix it, work it, figure out a different method for it. If I do, I will let you guys know. If you guys checked out any of these products or if you have an order coming, let me know what you got. I'm very interested. Or if you've tried it already, I don't know when orders started going out. So if you've tried it, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. And thank you guys for watching me today. I will link everything down below. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.